Okay, while the FBI indicted at least 80 people, those arrested were mostly Nigerian men living in the U.S. who targeted women in love scams, among other frauds. Some tricked elderly women into sending money to fictitious men they thought they had fallen in love with online. They allegedly stole at least $6 million. Listen to the officials. Those arrested today, including 11 in the Los Angeles area, are among 80 defendants charged in a federal grand jury indictment that alleges millions of dollars were taken from victims through a variety of BEC scams, romance scams, and other online frauds. Now, Al, what's a warning you could give? Because this is preying on the most vulnerable. And there's, I want people to understand there's a courtship. It's not like just like tomorrow, oh, hey, can I have some money for my right. sick daughter? No, there's a year-long courtship. It's of grooming, just like when we see with child predators. It's the same thing. It's establishing trust. And then after a while, we start going, hey, I need a thousand bucks. Could you believe it? Uh, yeah, it, this is, it's, it's really... How do we warn it's, our, it's our, our loved ones? It's one clean out somebody's account. Right. But to get somebody emotionally involved with yeah. you, probably somebody that was at least vulnerable enough to fall for one of these things, for them to give themselves in and then this be a scam. No heart. It's more than money. Like, you are forever yeah. destroying people that were on eggshells to begin with. I, 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 I don't understand, but, I mean, you know... I wonder if I'm sometimes a little bit complicit in this because I do watch shows like 90 Day Fiance and sometimes you you look at people that you're like, I don't know if this person's mentally competent or catfish or something. Do all those people seem like they're on the level? Well, I think uh, most importantly is just for our viewers to please have the conversation with your elderly loved ones, yourselves, your neighbors, and just spread the information because I think a lot of people don't believe this happens as often as it does. Well, it does. And someone you know could be a victim of this right now. So try and have that conversation because education could really save someone here.